Guys, so uh, I just wanted to do a quick little review here of Android 6.0 Marshmallow, official on the LG G4. Uh, I did just uh, basically install this and wanted to see, you know, how LG's take on Android 6.0 is here. So uh, this is obviously running the LG software, which, which I think they call uh, Optimus uh, UX still apparently uh, so we can see in the settings here we can see the uh, version is actually Android 6.0 so not the latest uh, Android but you know it's nice to see it here they have beaten Samsung uh, well I think everyone's beaten Samsung when it comes to the uh, marshmallow but you can see uh, basically it's very similar actually in terms of the user interface to the lollipop I do have the LG V10 which we can use to compare here uh, which uses I think a similar uh, LG skin as the uh, G4 so basically you can see isn't a much difference when it comes to the uh, going into the apps here but I do notice there is less of a tendency for there to be redraws you may have seen that then on the V10 now and again the app draw kind of uh, redraws but I've noticed that this doesn't seem to be such an issue now on uh, the official Android Marshmallow which is nice uh, but in terms of the actual user interface you know I think LG is going a bit square here compared to Samsung and the circular kind of uh, you know uh, look about it uh, if we have a look at some of the uh, user interface components here so we can have a look at the dialer looks very similar you know I think they've made the buttons a little bit uh, lighter here uh, which is nice maybe we can just uh, call someone as well see how this looks the number you have called is not recognized so it looks nice and clean, you know, when you're calling here. Uh, it still has some lollipop kind of influence, if you ask me, uh, in certain aspects. Also, the uh, dialer here you can see very similar. So, you know, I was kind of like scratching my head, wondering exactly what has changed here, because everything seems to be very similar to the... Uh, the marshmallow. I think I've got this on the different view here. So you can see this is a settings area. I think they've made the uh, light buttons a little bit more bluish here, uh, but generally it looks to be very similar when it comes to the actual kind of settings. Uh, I'm guessing that we're going to be getting uh, the things that you do get with Android Marshmallow, such as better control over your apps permissions. Uh, you know to make sure that things uh, are you know using the correct thing so you can see we can control the permissions here which is nice and also the uh, battery dose optimizations so uh, I think we got a game optimizer here did we have that before we can just have a quick look so in fact we did have that before so uh, you can see that's not actually that different here uh, but I think we do have the doze optimization somewhere around here uh, as well as uh, some underlying stuff such as your app linking and things like that. You'll also have the uh, Google Now on tap obviously like when you hold the circle in you can see it's a different action now so that is very nice you do have to you know say yes you're in uh, which uh, then you can basically get information about what you're looking at uh, so that's quite nice we can just as well have a look at the browser which uh, we don't actually have the LG browser on the V10 uh, but they've kept it on the G4 here so uh, you can see we do have similar browser here to your Samsung device you can put on incognito mode uh, you can put on new tabs here and I think you can favorite things as well or look at your history so that's quite nice I think LG is pretty cool in that they have kept the browser here and they should definitely put it on the V10 you know is the higher end version you know device here so uh, if we just have a look at something here such as uh, boomerangs don't know why I'm thinking of boomerangs but so when you do this or maybe I've turned it off actually 
I didn't even realize it so I think I did actually turn it off there I don't know how but uh, when you have it on you should be able to have a look at something and then it will get more info about it and so it doesn't seem to be picking up what I'm looking at here but yeah you know you get what happens uh, so that's quite nice uh, we can have a look at some of the things here such as the weather uh, I don't think much difference here to be honest on the uh, Android Marshmallow uh, camera obviously another big thing here with LG uh, so with the V10 you do get the dual screen so you can get access to your pro mode settings up here you can see uh, we don't have that here but if you go into the manual you know you do get uh, basically everything you need here for a DSLR experience which is very nice still and I think uh, we can just keep it on auto so you still get everything you you know want here ultra HD which is nice and uh, you still have that fantastic uh, 16 megapixel uh, laser autofocus camera so uh, very nice uh, that they've kept things consistent and uh, if we have a look at the wallpapers I don't think there's too much difference here so you can see pretty much the same again uh, really so you know unlike uh, Samsung with the you know very fluffy looking touch whiz I think LG's kept it very similar here ah yes I think this is uh, one of the areas which has changed uh, a little bit in fact uh, in fact no it's not it's not changed uh, it used to be a little bit darker here up at the uh, notification area but I think since lollipop it has actually got a bit lighter uh, so there's not really a huge difference you can see here in terms of lollipop and marshmallow when it comes to that and I think as well if we just hold the power button down on both of them you can see again very similar here and volume button there might be some differences when it comes to this uh, so you know really you know I don't think there's been a huge difference here with the Android uh, marshmallow but then again I think you're gonna get underlying improvements to the battery life which you know wasn't the best on the LG G4 uh, you're probably gonna get underlying improvements when it comes to the security as well like the patch level as well as the general day-to-day -day stuff and the now on tap so you know definitely worth upgrading here I haven't found any bad things about the update but it's not uh, I'd say as uh, you know high impact as the S6 update if you ask me uh, even though the S6 update hasn't really solved the memory issue it looks uh, a lot different than Lollipop uh, so uh, yeah just a quick little video here checking out Android Marshmallow official on the LG G4 I uh, hope you uh, enjoyed the video still an awesome device this is uh, hopefully we're getting the LG G5 in very soon and uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.